My name is Brian Keene. I'm an airport designer and just to really enjoy aviation as a hobby. About the mid-90s, they started to develop some really beautiful die-cast models. I picked up a couple of them, you know, and I, I was really excited to have one. They were heavy, they were really detailed, and I thought, what a great idea to be able to build an airport around them to show them in their natural habitat. And so I had to do, you know, some calculations and thinking about how I was going to do that. And ultimately, you know, I decided that, you know, I could really build something around these beautiful models. I was just gonna build one terminal, but I guess I got caught with a bug. I just got really high end of passion to say, no, they continue this process. And I start building more and more of the terminals, and of course, collecting more and more of the aircraft that go in those terminals. So it really was a journey through this process. You know, when you're building airport dioramas, or actually any dioramas, there's a lot of different materials you have to use. What I use primarily is foam board. I use um, polystyrene. I use uh, wood in some cases, you know, small lightweight balsa wood. I use plastic. I use a variety of different types of material. So there's a lot of little pieces of it that you have to create and repurpose so that you can, you can create something that looks like the real thing. The most challenging model was the TWA terminal. And the reason for that is because whereas all of the other buildings are 90 degree angles, the TWA main terminal doesn't have a single right angle in it. It's all curved. So I had to figure out how to build that with new material. And to do that, I really had to do some serious design and planning. My most favorite terminal is the Pan Am World Port. And the reason for that is because my first job out of college was with Pan Am. I remember standing on the, on the rooftop parking deck, overlooking the ramp and seeing the Pan Am 747s pull in, the pilots waving as they parked their aircraft, and looking out over the vast expanse of Kennedy Airport and seeing all of the international carriers pulling into the International Rival Building, just everything about it was really exciting. And that building itself has holds a lot of memories for me. When it comes to the size of the diorama, a lot of people ask me that question, how big is this thing? And it's gotten bigger and bigger every time I build a new terminal. Right now, it's about um, 18 feet square. If I were to add the runways and the taxiways, it would be 10 times as big. So it just kind of gives you a sense of the mass and size of such an international airport. Some of the things I'd like people to take away from this whole experience is for people like me who grew up in the 70s, I hope it brings back memories of that time, kind of that innocent time when aviation was just so new. I'd like to encourage people who collect these model aircraft to think outside the box, and rather than keeping their models tucked away in a box or in a, in a glass shelf, go out there and try your hand at building something so that you can put them in a real life situation that they would have been in. And I really want to inspire the next generation of kids out there uh, to collect, to build, and maybe ultimately to embrace this airline career that I love so much.